Hey guys. So today I want to talk about Jesus from a different perspective. See, when we when we read the Bible, usually we will see it through a western understanding, a modern day understanding of how things work. So oftentimes when we read the Bible, and we see Jesus doing certain things and saying certain things, we understand it through the grid of understanding that we have based upon the reality that we live in now. You know, many of us have grown up in a Christian family. And at the very least, we've probably grown up with some type of Christian understanding. However, Jesus and the disciples, they didn't grow up with the Christian understanding that we have today. They grew up with a Jewish understanding, a Jewish way of living. Now, we are Christians. We are now in Christ. We do not live under the law. We have been given a new covenant. However, that doesn't mean that certain disciplines will not cause us to grow. Let's look at let's look a little bit at the life of Jesus before the water baptism. So Jesus was a Jew and he fulfilled the law and the prophets. So therefore he had to live under their system. He had to live under the law so that he could fulfill it. So he went to a school called Bet Sefer where he memorized the entire Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible, by the age of 10. And by the age of 13, he would have memorized the oral Torah. Okay? Why is that significant? It's significant because it shows the deep dedication and discipline and not only, not only that, everything in his life before he had the Holy Spirit come upon him at baptism, everything in his life revolved around the depths and knowledge of God. And it wasn't just him. That was all the Jews. All the Jews went through those same schools. But there were certain things about the way that Jesus learned and the disciples that was different than the way that we that we understand things today. You know, math and philosophy and and uh, history. You know, yes, the Jews were great at um, at tracking history, but they didn't teach it from the standpoint that we understand it now. It wasn't one person telling someone all of the information and training them through words. The Jews learn through discipleship, through demonstration, through walking with another person. And so that's why you see a lot of terminology in the New Testament about following Jesus about discipleship, about about um, carrying your cross, about um, you know denying yourself. See, everybody wanted to become a rabbi. It was like the best position that you could have, but you had to be really, really, really good in school. And if you were really good, a rabbi would take you under his wing as a disciple. And if you were not good enough to be a disciple, 
then you would have to go get a trade. This is why the disciples dropped everything instantly to follow Jesus. And when, when people followed a rabbi, they followed him so close that the dust of their feet would cover them. And that was symbolic, really. It wasn't literal. It was symbolic. It was because disciples would submit everything to the rabbi and follow him and learn from him. And it was much deeper than just learning the way that teachers teach today. It was imitation. See, the disciples knew that they could be like their master, like their rabbi. That's the, that was the way the whole system was created. It was a common understanding. And so that was the whole purpose of them becoming a disciple was to follow and imitate him close enough to become like him. And see, this is why Paul made the statement, imitate me for I imitate Christ, because Paul was a disciple of Jesus. And so I share all of this with you today so that you can grasp a little bit more of the depths of of what it means to be a disciple. It, it means complete surrender. It means complete dedication. It means to discipline yourself. It means to set yourself aside for the one that you follow. It means that the one that you are following is your master and you are subjected to him in every way because you desire to live just like him and you're capable of it according to to scripture. So we're all learning. We're all growing. I don't know anybody that's arrived there, but we can't use our experience. We can't use our uh, logical understanding to deny what God's word says is for us because the Bible says that we can grow up into him in all things. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is when we see Jesus, then we can begin to see who he has created and called us to be like. So guys, I want to bless you today. And uh, just, just on another uh, side note, which is really, really amazing. Um, so Elijah, Elijah stayed with a widow and a widow's child for two years. For two years. And he lived in the home with him, right? And then the widow's child is believed that the widow's child grew up to be Jonah, which is really powerful if you think about it, because that young child was around this man for two years. And he began to see into his life, saw his daily life and daily walk with God. Then he began to grow up and function in his likeness. And see, that's what it's all about. You know, disciple. if somebody is discipling you, you should be able to have access to their life. You should be able to, to be able to see them in the rough situations, the easy situations, the situations where they're standing in faith. You should be able to have access to their life in truth so that you can see how they live, so that you can imitate and grow into their walk with God. So guys, I just want to encourage you, keep going after Jesus.